Hi Virgo and welcome to your reading. Virgo, I've already pulled quite a few cards for you um, and I shuffled all of them out so that I could sit with your energy before I turn on the camera. Okay, so I know that a lot of a lot of tarot uh, viewers prefer to see shuffling on camera, so if that's a no-go or a deal breaker for you, then I understand. I'm just letting you know up front that that's kind of what this particular reading is, is a bunch of cards I've already pulled. So um, that said, I do want to start off by getting a star seed oracle card for you to bring us into the reading with a message that spirit wants you to know Virgo. Okay. So for Virgo, message for Virgo, please. Card of double mission, lightworker star seeds serve the world by being you. So you may have a feeling that time is running out. Spirit wants you to know that you are right on track, that everything is happening in divine timing. Um, your double mission is about both growing individually as yourself as well as contributing to the collective. Okay. So I do feel like your reading has to do with your life's mission, whatever that is, um, what you contribute to the world. There's an interfering sort of energy here in your reading, but there's also a lot of love in this um, situation. We are starting off here with the Queen of Swords as the first card in your spread today. I'm seeing this, whether you or somebody else, but this is a, an energy that is witnessing something. It's perceiving, okay? There's a, a watchful sort of energy here with this Queen of Swords. And what she's watching here is or witnessing, bearing witness to, is a Knight of Swords. Some sort of communication, somebody who's taking action. And what they're taking action here is we have the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. Or it's like, it kind of came out sideways, okay? And I'm thinking now of the Leo reading that I did yesterday. And, and this seems to be following a similar vein, but maybe from a different perspective of that situation. Okay, so there is somebody that is witnessing this night energy of somebody taking action to, sort of to control destiny or like control a situation or turn the wheel in their favor in some way. What they're taking action toward, what we have next is the Three of Wands, Sun and Aries, pioneering, driving something forward. Um, but then what's interesting is that the next cards we have here are the Queen of Pentacles with the Moon. And so it's like, it's, it's, it's an energy that I feel is like wanting to penetrate some um, it's like wanting to penetrate the energetic barrier of a queen of pentacles who is looking over at this moon energy. Okay, so maybe you're the queen of pentacles. I'm not sure. Put yourself wherever you, 
wherever you feel that you are in this reading, but it's like the Queen of Pentacles is looking over at the moon, which almost looks like a Wheel of Fortune, sort of, right? It's like this lunar energy, this um, intuition, almost as if this person is looking at the moon or they're like peering into their past. Okay. Cancer energy um, represents the, the lunar energies. And so Cancer also has to do with the past. And so she's looking over here at the moon and this, this night with the three of wands is like wanting to push past the boundaries, much like the Leo reading. It was like trying to storm the castle walls. It's like an energy of trying to drive into somebody else's energy where they don't belong. Now, normally I see the queen of pentacles as Capricorn energy, but it doesn't have to be. It's just um, an earthy energy here that is looking more into the intuitive space. Maybe this person is sort of new at that. Maybe they are not so adept at tuning into the emotional, the intuitive realm. They're learning something here. And um, this has to do with some sort of long-term vision. It's like this person is looking at the past and almost it's like wanting to bring it into the future. So there's a lot of alchemy going on here with this person. We have here the astro cards of Capricorn, the 10th house, Pluto and North Node. Okay. So Capricorn is 10th house energy and it's like something that is uh, meant to be achieved. We have uh, Pluto moving out of Capricorn on the 20th and into Aquarius here in the next few days. And so there's something here that is happening in the Capricorn area of your chart or in general that is putting somebody in touch with their power, their deep emotional power. Okay, that is bringing them into the North Node energy of the future. It's like, it feels like, um, it feels like just as somebody is, is, is stepping into their power, this other energy is wanting to come in and sort of swipe it, right? It's like, I see that, that you are, um, I see that you are achieving this, energetic milestone. I see that, you know, this person looking into the moon is uncovering something finally. And this other one wants to move in and like swipe it. And so you have this queen of swords just kind of observing everything, witnessing what's happening. Okay. And um, not necessarily taking any action here. We have uh, the queen of swords in the energy of temperance. weighing things out, weighing out the emotions, right? It's like pouring the cup back and forth to feel things out. This person, this energy is feeling out the situation and watching. Okay, so whoever the queen of pentacles is looking at the moon, it's like this queen of swords energy is witnessing what's happening to them in some way. And it feels like a positive energy Okay, that this Queen of Swords has. It's like they're seeing that this other person is like under siege. Their destiny is under siege. This Knight of Swords here is um, also has the Hermit card. So there is a lot here about information, about gathering information about, yeah, this person with the Knight of Swords and the Hermit, that's Mercury, double Mercury, Gemini, Virgo. It's like looking, trying to get the details of something that's happening with the Queen of Pentacles energy.
what they're trying to get the details for, what they are coming at this Queen of Pentacles, um, the reason is this Four of Wands energy with the Ten of Wands. This is the destiny energy that they are trying to control or steer in their favor. So we have the Three of Wands now to the Four of Wands, which is Venus and Aries creating what they want with whatever the Queen of Pentacles uncovers here, bringing it to completion in some way with the Ten of Wands. But they don't have all of the information yet, so they are, it feels like they are just sitting and waiting and meditating on this person to see what the Queen of Pentacles finds under the moon in the lunar energy. Four of Cups, Four of Pentacles with the Knight of Pentacles here. It's like they're plugged in. They're waiting for, um, they're waiting to feel some sort of an energetic shift, it feels like. It's like waiting for the water to be squeezed out of the moon so they can catch it in their own cup. And meanwhile, this energy is just kind of like sitting and waiting. But they are now being witnessed. So somebody else is catching on to the fact that this is happening. So it's not just this Queen of Pentacles anymore. It's like this Queen of Pentacles now has some sort of protection. And in fact, it is activating this Queen of Swords person with temperance into some sort of protective um, energetic. I don't know. It's like uh, it's activating them to maybe anger here with the Queen of Wands, clarifying the Queen of Swords and temperance. But they're catching on. They're seeing what what is what is happening with this other energy that is trying to steal something. And I see that this Queen of Swords is sort of, um, they're a loving presence. This could be a friend, this could be a colleague, this could be a spirit guide, but there's some sort of alliance that is created here, at the very least energetically with the lover, the one, and the bridge, okay? There is some sort of cooperative energy that's coming in once this Queen of Swords um, recognizes what's happening. And so they are being activated here with the, um, the Ace of Cups and the Two of Swords. I'm seeing the Ace of Cups as sort of an extension of the Moon energy. It's like the heart space of this Queen of Pentacles. Uh, they are, this, this Queen of Swords, Queen of Wands, Temperance person is sort of helping to put up a barricade to protect this individual and their emotional energy. It's like they are, um, I don't know, it's kind of like a gray rock energy, but Saturn here with the Two of Swords, right? It's like a barricade. You shall not cross. You shall not cross. And so these other energies are sort of like kept out of the castle wall that we were talking about in the Leo reading. It's like, you shall not come past this point. We see you. So it's like this person is um, something about their focus on the on this lunar energy on something that they are um realizing remembering cultivating it's drawing attention to this issue and so we have these people maybe it's one person maybe it's um a couple of people but look at how they're talking. It's like they're outside of the castle wall here, trying to figure out how they can get in, trying to figure out what's going on. Queen of Cups with the Strength card. I'm seeing that this could be the energy of those people or persons who is trying to take something here, trying to penetrate the wall of the Queen of Pentacles. But it's like they continue here to 
to wait to feel out the situation to try to get in. But the issue is, is that <laughs> it's like people are on to them now. People are starting to catch on to what's happening here and coming to the aid of the Queen of Pentacles. So, in the Leo reading, the what was under the moon in the Leo reading, that's where we kind of left off in the, the Leo reading. It was like not meant to be known what was happening or what the, um, what the individual was going to be realizing or working toward. It was meant to be kept secret. So I don't know if we should actually push this further or not. Um, let's see here. What else does Spirit want us to know about the situation? What else does Spirit want us to know? The Hierophant. The Moon. Queen of Wands. Spirit is saying that you have powerful allies here, okay? Whether you are aware of it or not, it can be your spirit team. Uh, like we said, a colleague, a friend, something. You have powerful allies here that are protecting you and they see what's happening, okay? Anything else? The magician. This is a really sweet energy. <laughs> it's like this person wants you to know, we got this. They can't do anything to you. <laughs> it's like I'm hearing this person. Virgo, <laughs> if this is your reading, you got this. You are protected, okay? I think I'm going to go ahead and leave it there. I'll see you all again soon. Bye.